The most common way that professionals measure the spread of a data set with a single value is with the standard deviation or variance. Here, we will focus on the standard deviation, but we will actually learn how to calculate the variance in the process. If you have never heard of these measures before, this calculation will probably look pretty complex. When all's said and done with this calculation, the standard deviation will tell us on average how far every point is from the mean of the points. As a quick mental picture, imagine we wanted to know how far employees were located from their place of work. One person might be 15 miles, another 35, another only one mile, and another might be remote and is 103 miles. We could aggregate all of these distances together to show that the average distance employees are located from their work is 18 miles. But now, we want to know how the distance to work varies from one employee to the next. We could use the five number summary as a description, but if we wanted just one number to talk about the spread, we'd probably choose the standard deviation. The standard deviation is on average how much each observation varies from the mean. For this example, this is how much on average the distance each person is from work differs from the average distance all of them are from work. So this one is three miles farther from work than the average, while this individual is four miles closer to work than the average. The standard deviation is how far on average are individuals located from this mean distance. So it is kind of like the average of all of these distances. We will take a closer look at this, but hopefully this gives you a strong conceptual understanding of what we'll be calculating in the next sections.